the next generation of high-speed extrusion blow molding machinery to produce bottles at rates up to 300, 400, and even 600 bottles per minute has been introduced by Wilmington Machinery. Small Bottle or SB Blow Molding Technology This system produces a six-layer high-density polyethylene bottle with a special oxygen barrier layer. It will later be filled with a liquid. The process starts with four different types of resin. High-density polyethylene for the inside and outside layer of the bottle, a regrind layer produced from the bottle trimmings, a material that provides a high oxygen barrier, and an adhesive to glue the oxygen barrier material to the other layers. Polypropylene could have easily been substituted for the high-density polyethylene for hot-filled or retort applications. The resin material is first blended together with color additives in an automatic blender and then transferred to a large hopper mounted above the extruder in feed with powerful pneumatic devices that moves the resin into the appropriate hopper. There are five extruders. The adhesive is split into two individual layers at the die head. To provide greater flexibility, individual extruders are provided for the inside and outside layer even though the materials are typically the same. The plastic is melted in the individual extruders and formed into a hollow tube of molten plastic in the die head. We'll talk about this later. The molds are mounted on a circular series of individual clamps that are then mounted on a very large rotating wheel. As the wheel rotates, the molds close and open sequentially. After closing, the molds are held together with mechanical over toggle clamp design. Using a mechanical clamping system requires very little energy. This molder requires less than 7 kilowatts to operate. The key to the SB technology is a breakthrough in mold design and wheel design that greatly simplifies the process of blowing bottles on high-speed rotary blow molding systems. Wilmington Machinery has perfected a very accurate method to position the molds that eliminate the need for costly and maintenance intensive mold knockout devices and cut off knives to cut the parison between the molds. To produce bottles, a parison, which is a hollow tube of molten plastic, is formed in the die head. While in the die head, each layer from each extruder is laid on top of the previous layer until the six layers have been formed. The parison is then extruded out of the top of the die head through tooling, creating the specific shape and thickness required to form the perfect bottle. To make a bottle, the rotating molds close rapidly onto the parison. The forming process is accomplished by injecting high-pressure air into the parison through a blow needle. This inflates the parison, forcing it against the mold and allowing the plastic to cool, taking the shape of the mold and the finished bottle. The needle is actuated with a pneumatic cylinder. The molds are cooled with chilled water to prevent the molds from heating up and quickly cool the plastic. The water is circulated in and out of the wheel to the molds through two large rotary unions. When the bottles are cooled in a few seconds, the clamp unlocks and the molds open, dropping bottles randomly on a takeaway conveyor. The bottles are mass transported from under the wheel on a specially designed cleated conveyor. From this conveyor, the bottles go to a divert gate mechanism. The purpose of this is to allow the bottles to be diverted away from the production line should the line back up or should the bottles at startup need to be sent to the granulator. The bottles now enter a simple unscrambler machine. The unscrambler positions the bottles standing up and single filed for the trimming operation. The bottles enter a large hopper with an elevator that transports the bottle up into a large rotating drum. Bottles are automatically sorted and fall into pockets designed for the specific bottle shape that is being blow molded. This drops the bottle so that they always fall standing up. Bottles exit the unscrambler onto a vacuum belt conveyor to the trimmer. The conveyor is sometimes replaced by an air veyer that transports the bottles by the neck instead of the bottoms. Bottles are transported single file into a trimming system which removes the unused part of the bottle called the moil. The bottles are separated with a timing screw that prevents the bottles from hitting each other as they pass through the trimmer. 
The trimmer has a long, sharp, heated blade that is located at the exact position where the moil is separated. The moil has a molded-in drive pulley to roll the bottle against the blade, cutting cleanly the bottle and moil apart. The moils are collected and sent to the granulator to be used again as regrind. The finished bottles are now ready to be leak tested, packed, palletized, labeled, or go directly to the filler. Wilmington Machinery is the premier supplier of high-speed rotary extrusion blow molding systems. To learn more about their capability and how they can benefit your manufacturing operation, contact us. We will quickly access your specific needs and explain more about the revolutionary new SB blow molding technology for small bottle production.